if you receive dates that for whatever reason aren't in a proper format that Excel can handle the dates, it is important that you convert them to Excel valid dates as soon as possible. So for example, we've got here dates. You can see there's full stops between them. We need this to be a proper date that Excel can recognize. So one of the tricks we can use is we can highlight the list. So you'll see it's a long list that we've got there. And if you go to data, you'll see an item here called text to columns. For this one, you can, if you want, split it on the full stop, but we're going to show another trick. So we're just going to ignore those for now. And you'll see when you get to this one, what we need to tell Excel is that this is a date. And then we need to tell it what have we given it. So this is not asking how do you want to see it. It's asking you what have you given it. If you look at these dates, it looks like we've given it day, month, year. So we need to go here and say DMY. So again, I can't emphasize enough. It's not what you want to see. It's what have you given it. If I click finish, what happen, watch what happens here. You'll see it's clever enough to convert them to be proper valid dates, which on my computer are shown in this way, but in other computers may be shown the other way or in American style, depending on what your computer's regional settings are. But using this technique, we can quickly change a whole bunch of dates Excel doesn't recognize into dates that Excel recognizes.